Now, some of you may know, I have a child. Ah! Right, Mini Furs, how do you get to school at the moment? Scooter! And what's better than a scooter? Yes, scooter! Yes! Challenge, Dad! Challenge! So, right, this is Jake's mm. scooter. Now, I'm not going to put a pulse jet or a gas turbine on it because he's only five. So, we're going to go something a little less powerful. We're going to go for an electric EDF engine. We're going to mount that up there. Do you want to hold that there? To control it, we have a 150 amp ESC. That's going to go round the back here somewhere. And then, of course, we're going to need some power. We're going to sell some battery. Yep, battery's going to go up here. We'll make a little cradle thing for that to sit on. And then to control it, because I'm not giving him the controls, because he will go crazy and smash straight into the neighbour's car, won't you? Who's the neighbour's car? The neighbour's. Oh, our well, next door the neighbour's as well. Yeah, right? probably that way. Anyway, that's irrelevant. So, to control all this, little RC unit, throttle control for Daddy, that will sit on here somewhere, and of course we need a power supply for that. We've got all that. It's all going to go on. It's a lovely little 3D printing exercise. Let the build montage commence. Bye bye. Uh, is it done? Is it, is it made? It? Yeah, yeah, I've built it, made it, I've made it, I've made it. Okay, the parts are 3D printed. Now this one took 14 hours. Now if you don't know much about 3D printing then you wonder how it prints over the top of nothing. Well it doesn't, it basically prints support material, which is just like a fine mesh type bit of plastic that you can just break off afterwards. So we got this bit, the EDF's going to sit in here, like so, and then there's another half of that, which will screw on clamp it in, got some nice little can of sunk screw holes in there look boy, that's going to sit there like that and then this is basically going to clamp to his like bar by this little half tubey bit and then the other half is here, that's going to clamp on there, we'll fix it to it, all the electronics and gizmos all going to go in these little recesses like that, the uh, RC unit in there and the battery around the back there, it'll look very neat and tidy and it'll look like a proper thing and then the battery, ooh, this is going to slide over the bars and then basically the battery bit, there's like a bit of a recess, it's going to shove in there. There we are, it'll shove in like that, we've got these little uh, like bits that are missing out of it, that's for the cable ties to go around so they're nice and flush, because I like things to be neat, you know. Okay, let's get all that on it, wire it up, and then see what the old boy thinks of it and send him to school super fast!
use this to dust the shed. <laughs> Let's see what the old boy thinks of it. Stand here. <laughs> Are you ready for jet scooter? Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one. Ta -da! <laughs> jet scooter! Come and have a look. Right, let's plug her in. When it pushes along from standstill and it hasn't scared the absolute bejeebus out of him so he won't get on it. Other than that, I think we need a smoother path, Colin. Yes! I think Furs has got that spot on. It's just the right amount of power. It'll get him going from a standstill, but it's not too powerful than once he is going. It doesn't go wild and like torque steer or put him into a tank slapper or scare the absolutely bejesus out of him. However, it is fast and you can scale it and you can regulate it. It's basically perfect! Now then, remember earlier in the video I said we're not going to put a gas turbine or a pulse jet engine on it because he's only five. Yes, he is only five, but I'm not, so I'm viewing this very much as the child's version because Colin has acquired himself a turbo! Yeah, we're going to make a gas turbine. So, turbo jet engine, very similar, well exactly the same as what I did put in the barbecue, only this, hopefully, is going to push me along rather than cook food or burn it very badly. So, it's just quite a small turbo because it can't be too big because we ain't going to have a lot of space. I'm going to have to build the scooter from scratch but before we do all that, six million subscribers! Yes, now I've got a couple of small projects I'm gonna finish, and then fireworks will be now off. See you then.